Hey guys, thank you for tuning into my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Jade and in today's Savvy Saturday video, I'm going to be sharing with you five of the best receipt scanning apps. If you're someone that likes to buy groceries or just constantly shop, 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 these are going to be the apps for you. So if you are not subscribed and you like money related videos, saving videos, any type of finance type videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below because every Saturday I bring you a Savvy Saturday video. And let's get into this video as a disclaimer i have to say that i live in the u.s and i do not know if these apps will work in any other country you have to do your research if you want to know further details about an app or just know if it works in your country all you have to do is google the app or download the app and it will let you know with that being said let's go ahead and go onto my phone and see what apps i am going to discuss so the first app that i want to talk about is paribus so paribus is powered by capital one and this is just an app that scans all your emails and look through your recent purchases that you made online and if a price has dropped or if you have a package on the way and that company is having a sale or something and the price goes down before it gets to you they will give you cash back for that item right now i don't have any purchases that have cash back they are monitoring my purchases so i think within like the next four 48 hours they will alert me and let me know if i have anything but this app is super simple and this is just what it looks like it automatically searches for receipts and it will notify you so the next app i want to talk about is fetch rewards i mentioned this in my best side gigs app and fetch rewards is amazing like i so love it if you are someone that grocery shops whether it's weekly bi-weekly or monthly this is the app you need so on fetch rewards you get points just for scanning your receipts one day you might go and get bacon and you scan it and you can get 500 points um literally they give you points for anything even if you don't see the item up here you can still scan your receipt so you don't have to like add this own you can add it to your shopping list if you're someone that likes to have lists and you just want to try to rack up as many points as you want you can go through this and add the items that you use and make sure that you pick them up on the grocery store pick them up from the grocery store but i don't do that what i do is i'll go to the grocery store get a receipt come back scan it and they'll give me points so let me show you the rewards that i have gotten so far on here so under my rewards i really just use walmart all the time but as you can see i have gotten 125 dollars worth of walmart receipts on here i meant walmart receipts <laughs> i've gotten over 125 dollars in walmart gift card ticket and then it'll come up it sends you the gift card to your email and you just go and scan it when you're at the register so this is a really cool app that i love they also have different uh places you don't only have to shop at walmart so they have different lists that you can shop at let's say you're someone that likes to eat out you go to a restaurant they have a ton of restaurants on here and if i wanted to let's say go to chipotle and i have forty-two thousand points so I can get a gift card for $10 and eat for free today. It's a really cool app to have. And the good thing about it is you get money for referring people uh, to the app. So they'll have different deals. Uh, this is my referred code. So it's EBVD3. If you want to sign up under my code, you get 2,000 points and I get 2,000 points. So the more friends you have, the better. You can rack up points in no time. And the gift cards is instant. If you have the points, what you do is just you go click what kind of gift card you want. And then you just uh click it get my 25 dollar reward it'll send you a four digit code four digit code to your phone you enter the code and then the gift card sends to your email so make sure you have access to whatever email address that you're signing up with just so that you can get your gift card you cannot get paid out with cash on here but they do have visa gift cards that you can use i think they have visa yeah visa and mastercard if you wanted to just get something where you can spend it anywhere the next one i want to talk about is receipt haul now i was a receipt haul fan way before i was a fetch rewards fan like my mom she was like you should use fetch rewards and i'm like if it's like receipt haul i don't want it now with receipt haul it's very tricky let me tell you why i like receipt haul so i I like receipt haul because you can scan any type of receipt so which with fetch rewards it's just grocery receipts with 
of receipt haul you can do anything so i have chick-fil-a dollar tree marco's pizza home depot olive garden papa john's like literally target gas receipts so what they'll do is they'll give you points like these points right here it says i have 84 points and or they'll give you slot machines so you can pull this and basically you try to match it up and they give you different things like at the bottom it says 15 points 40 points five points two points things like that so right here under redeem prizes you can see that i have gotten paid out a couple times like i said with this app i don't really use it as much just because if you have too many receipt apps you're literally going to be scanning one receipt for five apps now if you can get down like that get down like that but me on the other hand i can only manage like one or two but what you do is you can get paid out by Amazon. So you need a thousand points to get a five dollar gift card. Um, you can go all the way up to a forty dollar Amazon gift card, which is crazy. Or you can get a Visa gift card, PayPal, which is my favorite, just because I can literally uh, try to save up my points. I'm not good with saving my points. <laughs> I can save my points. I can save them all the way up to 6,000. So the next one I want to talk about is coupons.com. So of course, coupon.com allow you to go in and add coupons before you get to the register. If you are someone that is into couponing, kudos to you. I wish I was into couponing, but I just kind of don't understand it in a way. And it seems so complicated. And I don't want to get to the register thinking I'm getting this much off and I'm really not. So it's like, I would have to really like teach myself how to do it, but I don't coupon as much. But on coupons.com, you can also submit a picture of your store receipt and get cash back. So this is really good because I shop at Target, I shop at Dollar General, I shop at Sam's, and they have all kind of other stores too. Bilo, BJ's, just depending on where you at. Costco's, um, Food Lion, I see some Harvey. So it's really grocery stores, but if you, I'm sure, this is really focused on grocery stores, but I know you have at least, at least one of these grocery stores in your area. I know you do. And lastly, my last app that I would recommend is Moby. Now, what I like about Moby is that you get points for being in the store and doing certain tasks. So you don't have to scan a receipt. It's kind of like while you're in store. So they may ask you things like take a picture of the barcode, take a picture of the shelf display. So it's kind of like mystery shopping in a way for points though. So if you download this app, you put in your location and it'll ping you when you have certain things in your area. I live in a smaller area. So the only thing I have right now is this Best Buy one and basically it says that if i do it i can get 1600 points i have this best buy one it says if i do it i get 1600 points when i go to the rewards that literally gives me like a target gift card is 500 points so i can get a target gift card i can get an itunes five dollar gift card that means i can pay my apple music i get a five dollar starbucks gift card so like 1600 is a lot because even at a thousand points, you get a, a Amazon, a ten dollar Amazon gift card or a ten dollar Starbucks gift card, Dunkin' Donuts, Target, eBay. The more points you get, the better deals you can get. So, uh, two thousand points is like a twenty dollars for a gift card. I haven't used it in a while, and I think the missions are more tedious because I think you have to find like different items. So you want to only do Moby when you have the time to do it, and yeah that wraps up my video i know you guys are probably like this is like no money but i promise you money adds up like a penny is a penny but a hundred pennies is a dollar like money adds up even if it's just five to ten dollars i know there's something that you could use five to ten dollars on and it's really not about like using this as a side income it's just about getting cash back from things that you do daily and using that money to apply it something else you can still apply five to ten dollars to uh, a credit card that you may be paying off you can use five to ten dollars to fill your car up with gas that week like five to ten dollars may not be big but it definitely can help and the thing about this is this is good for anyone with any type of income because you don't have to put no money into it so therefore to start it is free and you get money back to you so i just want to bring you guys videos that can be helpful whether you are on a 
$20,000 salary or $100,000 salary. Like, it, clearly, if you're watching the video, you're trying to save more or, you know, cut back where you can. So, these are great cashback reward apps that you can use. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below on your experience if you use one of these apps. If you haven't used one of these apps, if you have an app that you like to use that's good for scanning receipts, leave it down below so that we all can use it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.